What if I told you there's a way for you to stay motivated without even trying, without even effort, without even discipline? Now, I'm not going to say discipline doesn't help because obviously it does. But if you're not a disciplined individual and someone tells you, oh, you just need to be more disciplined, that's not going to help. Okay. But there is a way for you to get all your workouts in without much effort, without much discipline. And it's super simple. Literally anyone can do this. Even your dog could do this. Okay. So I've got three steps for you. If you do these three steps, you will not even want to skip a workout. Okay. So let's dive into it. Now, the first step is something that a lot of fitness coaches completely overlook, okay? Now, there's a saying that goes, if all you have is a hammer, then everything looks like a nail, okay? And that's really how a lot of fitness coaches are coaching right now and not looking at the full picture. So a lot of clients come to me. In fact, uh, I'll tell you about one client that came to me two weeks ago, okay? He comes to me, he's saying, oh, I'm really struggling with motivation. I'm skipping my workouts uh, and a lot of other things as well, right? So... I looked at everything he told me and he was only sleeping a few hours a night. You know, sometimes it was three, four hours a night. Sleep was absolutely terrible. He knew it was bad. And I was like, let's fix your sleep first, okay? Because if you fix your sleep, everything else becomes easier. So within a week, boom, fixed his sleep. Now, the next week, he's not, he's not having any problems with the workouts whatsoever. He's super motivated, never skipped a workout. Uh, you know, he's, he's super motivated and really that this is what a lot of people get wrong is we've got to fix your health first. If you're not motivated to work out, but you're not healthy, no wonder. Think back to whenever you're sick. Do you feel like you want to do a workout? But some people have reached like baseline level of sickness, not so much that they need to go to the doctor, but it just it becomes normal, right? There's this normal level of sickness that they have in their life. No wonder you don't want to work out. No wonder you don't have any energy after work. No wonder you're relying on coffees all day, for example. So step number one to getting motivated to work out is to fix your health, okay? If you're not waking up in the morning and you don't have morning wood, okay? If you don't have libido, if you, uh, you know, you know, you have like skin issues or you are tired all the time or you have brain fog, there's signs, your body is giving you signs that something is wrong and we need to fix those things first. Can't, like a lot of people come to me and they're like, oh yeah, um, uh, I have problems with motivation. But when we fix some of these other things, they don't have problems with motivation, okay? So first step is to optimize your health, okay? Get healthy because if you're healthy, right? An extremely healthy individual does not want to sit on the sofa every single day. <laughs> like, think about it. Like, I, I, I couldn't think of anything worse than being sat here all day. Like, every single day, I've got to get outside. I've got to move my body. I've got to exercise. I've got to use my muscles. Otherwise, I just don't feel like uh, a normal person. You know, humans are designed to move. Go back hundreds of thousands of years. Bear with me for a second, right? Before the times of farms, when we lived in caves, right? we would have walked and we would have moved and we would have hunted and we would have avoided predators all the time. We would have been constantly moving every single day, okay? We're not designed to be in a little nine to five cubicle, blasted with blue light, hunched over, working at a desk, uh, you know, for eight hours a day and then get in our cars and then not do any exercise and not do any uh, like walking or anything like that at all. So step number one, to staying motivated without trying is to get healthy because if you get healthy, you will want to move your body, okay? Step number two is, uh, how can I describe this? The best way I can describe this is with video games. When I was younger, I started playing Call of Duty online video game, never played online before, and that game is extremely uh, addictive. I just fell in love with that game. I'd play it for hours and hours and hours. I'd skip school to play this game. I would do anything I could. I'd look for any single excuse to play more hours on this game. And I actually wasted so many hours, uh, days of my life playing this video game. But through sheer reps and f through sheer volume alone, I got extremely good at that game. I was actually one of the best, uh, highest ranked players in the world just because I enjoyed the game so much. There was never a time where I thought, oh, I don't want to play that game today. I always wanted to play it. I was always up for it. So step number two is once you're healthy, is can we get, in, get you enjoying your workouts? Because there's a lot of people that have 
they see working out as like another chore. It's like another to do on the to do list. And let's be honest, we don't need more chores. I'm sure you've got a long list of chores. I've got a long list of chores, although I try and outsource a lot of them. But we, we have a lot of things that we have to do each day. The gym shouldn't be something you have to do. It's something you get to do. It's a gift. You look at anyone who's in like peak physical condition, anyone who's at the top of their top of the game in, in, in fitness or anyone who's in like elite physical condition, they don't have to go to the gym. They don't have to do a workout. They want to do it. Okay. So if you enjoy working out, you're going to want to do it. So that is step number two. After we've got you healthy, and you have energy and you and you have vitality and you want to move and you want to use your body step number two is let's find a way to make your workouts fun and if you are not enjoying your workouts right now let's fix that asap because then you're not even going to need motivation or discipline in the first place because you're actually going to want to do it okay so how do we do that well uh, first of all is you know uh, having some variety in there if you if you've been doing the same thing over and over again for a long time change it up, change gyms, change training programs, um, change exercises, uh, do something different. For example, at the moment right now, I'm doing high rocks three times a week and weights three times a week. Okay. Excuse me. So that's, that's just a nice change. It's a nice break. Uh, in the past I've done, like I've tried gymnastics, I've tried calisthenics. Whenever I feel like things are getting a little bit stale, I just change it up and I do something else because I know it's not working out that I'm getting bored with. I'm just getting bored with the things that I'm doing right now. Okay. So that's the first thing to look at. What else can you do? Um, cl get clarity. I, I, one, one way this really killed the fun for me is because when I was younger, I was second guessing myself all the time. I wasn't sure whether I was doing the right exercises, whether I should be doing this. Am I eating this food? Am I eating that food? You know, I was constantly like second guessing myself all the time and just spinning my wheels. And I wasn't sure whether I was doing the right things. And that kind of killed a lot of the enjoyment because I was kind of just, you know, I wasn't sure whether what I was doing was correct. Okay. So that would be the second thing is to get clear, get a training program and follow it and, you know, and find one that you enjoy. If you don't enjoy going to the gym, um, like every single day, Maybe don't always do a workout in the gym. Do different kind of workouts. I would always recommend strength training. And I, I believe anyone can enjoy strength training. They're just not doing it correct. Okay, so if you're not enjoying strength training right now, you're probably just not doing it correctly. It might be too hard for you or it might be too easy. That's another thing to look at is difficulty. Anything that is too easy quickly becomes boring. Anything that is too hard uh, also quickly becomes not enjoyable because we don't like to lose and don't we don't like to be bad at things. So you've got to find that sweet spot, okay, where it's difficult enough that you don't get bored, but not too difficult that it just feels too hard and you don't want to do it, right? That'd be the second thing. So now we've got you healthy, we've got you enjoying your workouts. Already alone, you're far ahead of most people, okay? But once you do this third thing that I'm about to tell you, your, it, it, you just will never want to skip another workout ever again. Okay. And that is seeing progress. Okay. One of the things that is really addictive about some of these online games is because you have a ranking system and a leaderboard and you can level up your character. And that's quite common in a lot of video games, right? Is you have a character and you can level them up over time. Look at you and your physique and your goals the same way. Okay, in real life, but this is real life video games. Okay, and if you look at that and you see that you're making progress every single week, you will not want to quit. Okay, a lot of people, in fact, most people who are training, they don't make much progress at all and they're almost just wasting their time. I, I often wonder, you know, why do you even bother? Because if you're, not, if you're not getting results right now, that's another thing that we need to fix as soon as possible because your chances of quitting or your chances of not being motivated, if you're not getting results right now, are extremely high. So how do you get results? Well, first of all, you could hire a coach. <laughs> you know, I am biased, but you know, that's what I do. If you're interested, links are down below. But you hire a coach, that is the fastest way because you're leveraging someone else's expertise, okay? And you know, instead of trying to figure out all this out by yourself, you can just uh, leverage their expertise and gets re results much faster. If you're not in a position to do that or you don't want to do that, then watch videos like this, okay? Uh, educate yourself, read books. That's another low cost thing that you can do. And really, 
you've got to learn and it's going to take some time and some trial and error and you're going to make some mistake, m mistakes but if you keep at this and you keep studying and you keep stu learning and you keep working out and it's enjoyable and you're healthy uh, and you just make consistent progress day by day week by week month by month even if it's you know it's not it's not that great even if it's you just losing one pound of fat a week even if you're just gaining half a pound of muscle per week but if it's consistent and you keep taking micro steps forward and you're healthy and you're enjoying it you will not need motivation you will not need discipline it would just be something that you want to do okay and that is kind of the mindset shift that i want to try and uh get you to understand is there is it is possible for you to enjoy working out okay i know some of you think that oh it's just a chore and it's just something you have to do but believe you believe me i've seen this countless times people who come to me they have issues with motivation but we fix other issues and then we make the workouts fun and then it becomes so easy my job as a coach is so easy when someone's motivated because they're already doing what they should what they're supposed to be doing okay so it is possible i believe in you i hope this video helps go out there get healthy get make your workouts fun and then start seeing progress if you need some help with this uh, you know and you want to take a systematic approach really the only way i know to guarantee results is if you take a logical predictable data driven approach that's what my coaching is all about if you're interested links are down below other than that guys go out there lose the fat build the muscle get in the best shape of your life and i'll talk to you in the next one